Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up SCP Toolkit, which is an alternative to better DS3 tool to set up your PS3 or PS4 controller, either wired or wirelessly. So to get started, what you're going to want to do is press the setup exe and download this file. I put it on my desktop just for the sake of the video, but you can put it wherever you want to. And before setting it up, you're going to want to hook your controller up to your computer through the USB cable that you have for it. Then once you've done that, you can run the file that you have downloaded. Going to check for some new versions, then you'll be prompted with this. Simply agree to the license terms and conditions. Leave all this default, at least unless you know what you're doing, I would leave it all default. And then install, it's going to ask for admin privileges and then you can go through the setup process. Once it's installed, you're going to want to run the driver installation. That will also require administrator access. Then you'll be at this window. Now, if you're on PS4, use DualShock 4. If you're on PS3, use DualShock 3. In my case, I'm using a DualShock 3 controller, so I'll do that. But if you are on PS4, just do the opposite. So to get started, you're going to click the triangle. You'll have this list of devices that are hooked in through USB. You're going to want to scroll down until you find PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 controller and check it off. Then over on the right, press install. You're going to see a bunch of things pop up like that. And once it's installed, it will prompt you and it should make a beep. Once it's made the beep, it should be set up. Now, if you do want to set up Bluetooth, you need to know the name of your Bluetooth device, and then you would click choose Bluetooth dongle. And in here, you're going to look for the name of your Bluetooth device. I have a CSR8510. That is like the name of the small Bluetooth dongle that I have. And you're going to press install there. Now your controller needs to be hooked up wireless or wired still for this to work. It will make the same popping noise once it's installed. So now if you're on, if you want to use the Bluetooth, you can simply unplug your controller and press the PlayStation button, or you can keep it wired. So now I'll show some gameplay of it hooked up and working and everything. Now you don't need to worry about running any programs once it detects that the controller is hooked up it will automatically work. And to know that it's hooked up, if you go to your Windows system tray, there will be a little device here that's a little PlayStation controller. Okay, so as you can see here, I do have Xbox control showing up. Basically what the software does is it emulates your controller as an Xbox controller instead of a PlayStation controller. This allows it to be very compatible with PC games. So you can play whether it's Rocket League or Dark Souls or anything else that actively can use a controller, this can support. That way you don't have to worry about going out and buying an Xbox controller. But I hope this tutorial was helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. I'll try to help out as best I can, and have a good day.